These three muscle groups are amazing at helping you build upper body strength, as well as making everyday life tasks easier and giving you that upper body definition. So make sure you've got your heavy dumbbells today and let's do this. I am so excited that you are here for this workout. And now, although you may not be able to lift your arms tomorrow, after tomorrow, you are gonna be so amazed at the strength and muscular definition that you're gonna see from doing these strength workouts. So with that, as you can see, I have got my box out here today. So if you have your box, your exercise bench, kitchen chair, couch, uh, bed, anything like that, you can use that. However, if you don't have it, I am gonna have modifications on screen as well. So you don't need it, but if you've got it, have it nearby and ready. Ready. With that, we are gonna get into our warm up. As we go through the warm up, hang out with me because I'm gonna go through some tips to make this work better, work out better for you, and then also give you a little explanation of how this workout is going to go. So with that, we're gonna take our arms, reaching up overhead one side and then the other. So just working back and forth here, stretching the arms, stretching the shoulders. Three more, and then we're gonna take them both up. Two and a one. Both arms meet at the top here reaching up for the sky. From here, we're gonna take pulling those arms down. Think about pulling here and meeting those elbows in the back. Good, and then back up. Reach towards the sky and then pull down. Super simple structure today. For our 40 minutes of training, we are gonna have two circuits. In those circuits, we have got 10 exercises. We're gonna repeat twice. They're gonna be the same exercises. So by the end, for each exercise, you're gonna have worked through it four times. It's gonna go by quick. I know it sounds tough now, but the structure is gonna make it a little bit easier. And with our weight today, I want you to focus on going heavy. And then if you need to adjust from there, you can always do that. The main thing is listen to your body. That is gonna be the biggest cue. Pay attention to your form. If your form starts to get questionable, that's when you want to adjust your weight. Last one here. Now we're gonna go into arm circles, big arm circles back. Now using that heavier weight is what's gonna help you start to build that strength and definition. So that's why I'm challenging you for our workouts to lift heavy. Pace might be a little bit slower in your lifts. Totally fine, work at your own pace today. But again, because we're lifting heavy, it will be a slower pace. Almost there. We're gonna grab our light weights next just to work through three warm-up exercises for the chest, the triceps, and the shoulders. So grabbing those light weights, I'm just gonna use my five pounds in two and one. So grabbing those weights, starting off with just our shoulder press. Sh shoulders relaxed, starting with good form right here, taking it up nice and slow, and then down. Now through these warm-up exercises, think about your form here. Bum is tucked under, we've got our good posture, slight bend in the knees, breathing as well. Breathing is as part of your form as well, because if you're holding your breath, it's gonna be harder to get that oxygen moving to help your body as you're working hard here. Last one, and then we're gonna go into press back. So just a slight hinge at the hips, palms facing away, and we're just gonna lift and lower. Again, nice and slow. We're gonna finish with push-ups, and then we'll get right into our first circuit. Here it is, three, two, and one. From here, you can set your weights down. We're gonna bring it down for our push-ups, knees or toes. We're gonna do six reps, and then we'll be ready to go. So take your time, work through your six. Here we go. Keeping that body long and strong, pushing through the heels of the hands. Think about pushing that floor away from you. Exhale as you come up. We've got one more. Here it is. Down and press. All right, we are ready. 40 minutes is gonna be on now. We are starting, with, we're gonna work unilateral first, a one-sided kneeling shoulder press. So grab your weights for that. And let's get ready to go. All right, so as we're kneeling, the leg that is out is gonna be opposite for the arm you have for your shoulder press. Shoulders rolled down and back. Going here in three, two, and one. Here we go. Press it up and down. Working at your own pace, but taking your time. 
Now you can feel that core stability coming into play with this single kneeling position here. Now, and you know, anytime we do a standing exercise, if you do find that, oh, it's bothering my knee to kneel, you can always add a towel underneath, or you can just do the exercise standing. Almost there. And then we're gonna get a quick break. We'll go right back into this. Here's three, two, and one. Nice. Whew. Breathing. Rest it out for just a second. Ten seconds left. This 20 seconds of rest is gonna go by quick. Going in three, two, and one. Here it is. Now in this kneeling position, make sure your, your back is still flat so you don't want your bum sticking out. You wanna tuck those hips under and keeping that good posture. And as you press up, even though the shoulder is working, that shoulder complex is working, keep the shoulders down away from your ears. So don't try to shrug the weight up. Just nice and relaxed here. Down and press. Wow. Almost there. And then we'll get a quick break, we'll switch sides. Here it is, three, two, one. Nice, set the weight down. So we're just gonna switch sides. Other leg's gonna come out. Dumbbell's gonna be in that opposite hand. 10 seconds and we go. Try to work the weight the same on each side. Five seconds. So again, tuck those hips under, keep that core tight, and we press, here it is. You know I love to get core work in when we don't have to do a crunch. And right now, you can feel your abs working as you press with this kneeling position. Well over halfway. Keeping your wrist straight, think about punching that ceiling. Here we are, three, two, and one. Bring it down, 20 seconds to rest. Whew. This is getting tough already. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, grab your weight. We're five out. Going in three, two, and one. Here it is. Ten seconds and you've made it. We're gonna switch exercises next. Here it is, three, two, and one. Amazing, all right. Front raise. We're gonna have a little variation in this one though. So this one, if you can follow my pace, let's do that because we're gonna do a slow low. So we're gonna take it up, normal tempo, then we're gonna lower it down nice and slow. One dumbbell for this. Going in three, two, and one, so take it up parallel to the floor. Now bring it down nice and slow. There you are, halfway. That's three, two, one. Up normal tempo, hold it. Take it down. Taking it down four, three, two, one. Relax those shoulders. Take it up and down. Nice and slow. Slower than you want to. Three, two, one. This is gonna be it. Take it up, hold it. We take it down for eight, six, four, three, two, one. Nice job. You're gonna see, we're gonna hit this entire deltoid complex. We've got the front, the medial, and the rear we're gonna be working. So I'm telling you, this is gonna be all out shoulders, triceps, and chest, like hit it all. We're going again with this one. So shoulders rolled down and back. Good posture here, and let's lift. So taking it up, lower it slow with me. Here's three, two, and one. Take it back up. 
Now this slow lower is keeping the muscle under tension longer, which helps to build that strength. So <laughs> that's why we're mixing it up with this variation. Down for three, two, one. Ooh, last one, up, holding it. Now we're gonna lower it for eight, six, four, three, two, one. Amazing. Next, this is where we're gonna get our box or our chair. We're gonna do a seated rear delt fly. So moving quick, getting that box out. Two dumbbells for this one. You'll see the modification for that is going to be standing. So back flat, core engage, bring that chest down and we fly. Here we go, up and down. Now, when you do this exercise, it can be easy to just swing the weights and then let them fall back down. But I want you to remain in control of the weights here. So lift it up, squeeze it, control it. This hits that small muscle group in the back, the rear deltoid, still part of that shoulder complex. We don't really think about it because it's in the back, but it is an important muscle. <sighs> Going here in three, two, and one. Ooh, it's an important muscle to stabilize that shoulder, to help with our posture, work with the back there. It's just, and we're hitting it right now and you can feel it. This one's a tough one. Going again in five seconds. So as you, if you're seated here, bring it down. Let your chest come right down to those legs. Bum is right on the edge and we begin. Again, right from the beginning, you're in control of the weight. You lift, squeeze and control. You're almost there now. Here it is, three, two, and one. All right, getting the box out of the way, going right into chest press. Getting those heavy weights, bringing it down. Five seconds out. Pressing in three, two, and one chest press. Press it up, squeeze. Whew. Right away, I wanna remind you of that armpit egg. You knew I was gonna bring that up, right? <laughs> that helps you make that mind-muscle connection so good. As you press up, think about an arm in your underarm. And as, you, as you're driving those arms up towards the ceiling, you're trying to crack that egg. So think about it, squeeze it, and then you feel right there that contraction in the chest muscles. Chest muscles can be hard to contract, so that's why if we can think about these other things, it's gonna help immensely. Here it is, three, two, and one. Rest it out, we go right back into it. Arms out. Here it is, five, four, three, two, and one. Press it up. Exhale as you press up, wrist stay straight. So dumbbell weight is towards the heel of your hands. We're not trying to grip the weight with our fingers. The fingers just wrap around that bar for a little extra support. You may need to adjust your weight for this next exercise. We're gonna do chest flies. So just giving you a heads up on that because again, that 20 seconds goes by quick. Here it is, three, two, one. Adjust weights if you need for chest flies. Ten seconds out. Same thing, think about that armpit egg as we go. Arms are up, going in three, two, and one. So open it up, down, and squeeze. Now another thing that helps me get a deeper 
contraction in those chest muscles is as I squeeze up, my hands stay facing each other, but as I start to reach the top, I give just a little bit of a twist in, and then the end of the dumbbells nearest my pinky just tap together. So that helps me stay consistent with my range of motion there, all the way up to all the way down. And I also feel like it helps me just squeeze those chest muscles a wee bit more. Here it is. Three, two, and one. Rest it down. And breathe. 10 seconds. We go again. Five out, so let's bring those arms up. Get ready to go. Going in three, two, and one, here we go, open it up, nice and slow. Squeeze. Don't forget to breathe out as you squeeze those arms up. two, and one. Amazing. All right, we are going into a hips up, alternating reverse grip chest fly. That was a mouthful. I think I just took up the whole 20 seconds trying to say that. Now, modification, keep the hips down if you need to. So if those hips up affect your form in any way, shape, or form, <laughs> keep the hips down. Rolling it back, hips are up if you're taking that position. Palms facing away now from your knees and we're gonna alternate. So arms start up, we take it down and up. Down, good, and squeeze. Now with this reverse grip position, arms stay fairly close to your body, but as you come down, the elbow is angled out just slightly. So as you come down, you may not feel those arms, or you probably won't feel those arms right next to your body, as if we were doing like a close grip chest press. They're coming out just at a slight diagonal. Ooh. Almost there. Oh, here it is, last one. Three, two, and one. Oh, bring the hips down, rest it out. Quick break, we go again. Let's bring it back up. Hips are up, going in three, two, arms are up. Now alternate that lower, here we go. Down and up. Now the reverse grip, well, I mean, I guess between the chest press, the reverse grip, and the chest flies, we are targeting the chest muscles in all different areas. We're hitting that entire chest, pectorals, I should say, complex. <sighs> Squeezing it up, almost there. Here's three, two, and one. All right, weights down, no weights for these next two exercises, in fact, but if you've got your box, grab that. We're gonna do incline push-ups, and we're gonna do dips. So get that box out and ready. Going in three, two, starting the incline. Here we go, we're gonna take it down nice and slow. So take that push-up down nice and slow, nice and slow. You've hit the bottom, press back up. Down nice and slow, the slow low here. And right back up. Now work at your own pace, but really make sure you're taking that down nice and slow. Now you can always take this to your knees as well. If that helps you keep your form, getting all the way down. Last three, two, and one. Whew. Awesome. Breathe it out. Now, if you need to take it to your knees for this next set, go for it. All right, five seconds, we're going again. Remember, take it slow down and then press back up. Going in three, two, and one, here we go. Now the awesome thing about incline push-ups 
is if you are working to get push-ups on your toes while you're on the ground, this is the perfect way to do it. In fact, if we do push-ups in another uh, workout and you're training to get those push-ups on your toes, just have your box nearby and then use your box and then work on your toes with the box and then you will see training with this incline position will help you get those push-ups on your toes before you know it. And this is it, three, two, and one. <laughs> if I could get back up. <laughs> Alrighty, we, you know you're hitting failure when that last one is like, shake. We are switching it over now. Still, we've got our box. We're doing dips on the box. So getting into position here, legs out, back stays close to that box, and we go. Modification is on the ground for those dips. Now, if you've got your box, to intensify this, those legs are gonna stay out straight. To make it, to decrease the intensity, bend the knees in, drop it down and up. So you can take a variation in between as well. You can think about the farther out, the more weight you're lifting. The closer in, the less weight. So just adjust as needed, but keep that chest up. Back flat, almost there. Three, two, one. Nice, this is good for the chest, this is good for the triceps. <laughs> Even a little bit in the shoulders, because everything is feeling good right now. Five seconds out. Told you, the three best friends that anyone could have. Whew. Going in three, two, and one. Oof. Exhale as you press back up. We've almost made it. We're gonna finish, finish out with some tricep isolation. Here it is, three, two, one. Oh, box is out of the way. Skull crushers, now with skull crushers, you can use one or two dumbbells for this. I am going to use one and hold on to the ends of that dumbbell. We're gonna roll it on our back. Bringing those arms up. Going in three, two, and one. So bring that weight down. Now with skull crushers, you wanna think about only bending at the elbow. So those arms are straight up towards the sky, hinge at the elbow, bring that weight down, skull crusher, hence the name, and press back up. Tighten those tricep muscles, the back of the arm as you press back up. That's when you exhale right here, breathe out, Tighten the back of the arm, feel that muscle working. Right there, you just made that muscle activate even more. Last one, we'll rest it out. Here's three, two, and one. Bring those arms down, rest it out for just a second. 10 and we go, and then this is gonna be the end of circuit one. You're gonna get 60 seconds. We'll breathe it out, shake it out, rest it out, and we'll go again. Arms up, we go in three, two, and one. Here we go. Bending the elbows down, pressing and squeezing back up. Now you can really feel the triceps at this, at this moment in time because the thing about the triceps, chest, and shoulder is because they are all those push muscles, they tend to help out in those other exercises as well. So even though the tricep wasn't necessarily being directly worked in our other exercises, it was still coming into play. So if you can feel it, that's why. Here we are, three, two, one. Rest it out, breathe. We're not done. We are not, we've got, we are not done. We have got one more circuit just like that. You know what to expect. You know, know the exercises that are coming. And this is where you can decide if you want to keep the weight you were using. Maybe you can go up. 
maybe you need to go down to make sure you keep that solid form. Whatever it is, always remember, when we are training together, this is your workout, and I want you to make, what, make it work for you. So we're getting ready to go again. We're gonna start with that single arm kneeling shoulder press. We've got about 15 seconds. So grab your weight for that. Remember that we'll be down. You can always do this standing if the kneeling bothers your knees. But dumbbell in the opposite side for whatever leg is out. Chest is up, core is engaged, hips tucked under. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go, press it up. And I, you're doing awesome right now. You are doing amazing. Whew. By the end of this, you're gonna be so excited that you made it through because I know right now you're like, what, halfway? Uh, I'm already feeling it. By the end, oh my word, the fireworks are gonna be going off. Almost there. Here it is. Three, two, and one. Rest it, shake it out. 10 seconds, we go again. Grab your weight, bring it up. Five, four, three, two, and here we go. Press it up. Weight training is one of those things you need to stay committed to because I'm telling you, if you stay consistent, you are going to see the changes. There is no doubt about that. If you come, show up, challenge yourself self with the weight, and push during our training, I know you will get stronger. It's just that one thing. We've gotta just realize that it takes that time. It's not that instant gratification that we'd so love. Here's three, two, and one. And I think sometimes that's why it's, it is hard to stick with it, but I'm prom I, I promise you, you will see those changes. And it's fun. It's actually fun to see what you're capable of. I, I love it. We're going again, pressing it up, other side, so opposite leg out. Here we go. Again, taking your time, exhaling as you press up, wrist is straight, think about punching the ceiling. Already onto the second exercise. I actually have a feeling this last half is gonna go by super quick. Your break is coming. Here it is, three, two, and one. Oh, rest it out, 20 seconds. All right, 10 seconds, grab your weight, get ready to go again. Here's three, two, and one, let's press. You got it. We are over halfway now. <sighs> Moving on to that slow front raise next. This is three, two, and one. <sighs> bringing it down. All right, bringing it up to stand. Now we're gonna lift and then we're gonna lower slow together. So shoulders roll down and back, adjust your weight if needed. We're 10 seconds out. Here's five, four, three, two. Lifting it up, hold it for a second. Now lower slow with me. Nice and slow. We're halfway. That's three, two, one. Right back up. Shoulders relaxed. Lower down slow. Three, two, one. Right back up. Hold it, squeeze, down. 
four, two, and one. Oh. Here it is, last one up. Hold it, counting it down, eight, six, four, three, two, one. One more set like that. Whew. Time to adjust weight if you need. 10 seconds. All right, five, four, here's three, two. Bring it up parallel to the floor, hold it, relax those shoulders. Now slowly lower. That's four, three, two, one. Take it up, hold it. Good, there it is. Four, three, two, one. Ooh, take it up. Don't get tired and start swinging the weight. Make sure you're in control. Last one. Up. Let's lower for eight. Four, three, two, one. Ooh, we need our box. Rear delt flies. Finishing out that shoulder complex with that rear delt. Grabbing the box getting the weights. So remember, you have the option modification to do the standing. Back is flat, core engaged. Bring it down if you're seated. That chest comes right down to your legs. You're on the edge of your seat. And we lift. Get that squeeze. Think about going slower than you want here. Let those muscles work and then control it down. We're almost there. Here it is. Three, two, and one. Oh, breathe. Okay. One more set of those. One more set. Ooh, breathing. Let's get ready to bring it back down. Back flat, core engaged again. If you're seated, chest comes right down to those legs. And we lift. Taking our time. It's almost there. <sighs> We're gonna move on to chest work next. So we'll move quick to get the box out of the way. Down on the ground for chest press. Oh, here's that countdown. Three, two, and one. Nice. Box is out. Grabbing our weights for chest press. All right, rolling it back, breathing, going in three, two, and let's press. Remember, wrists are straight, punch up towards the ceiling. Dumbbells staying in line with your mid chest. Armpit egg, activate right now, <laughs> squeeze. Oh. You can even say that. There might even be words that you can use that help you make that mind-muscle connection. I know one for me for certain exercises is squeeze, and I can think about that, and that helps. It's silly things, but if you're gonna get more out of it, go for it. Here it is. Three, two, and one. All right, we're going again. Final set for chest press. Bring those weights up. Arms out, five seconds. This is three, two, and one. Drive it up, control it down. And squeeze. Ooh. 
Give yourself a little bit more leverage too by driving those shoulder blades into the mat. So it does help to get a little arch in your back here with this one. Ooh, so you've got a lot of weight in the shoulder blades to give you more power. Here it is. Three, two, one. Ooh, moving on, chest flies. Adjusting your weight if needed. Rolling it back. Arms up. We're gonna take them out nice and wide. Here we go, three, two, and one. Open it up. And right there's that squeeze. Same thing with chest flies. You can think about driving those shoulder blades into the mat here. One of the exercises you'll hear me say, this is okay to have a rounded back, because usually we're thinking back is flat, keeping that low back pressed into the mat. But with upper body, when we're training the upper body here, it's okay to keep that weight in the shoulder blades with that rounded back. Oh, here it is. Three, two, and one. Rest it out. Oh. We're gonna go again, 10 seconds. Let's bring those arms up. Check your wrists here, make sure wrists are straight, arms are long and strong, and we're gonna open it up here. Taking those arms out, fly and squeeze. Exhale as you squeeze up. Ooh. Well over halfway. Getting ready for that countdown, in fact. Couple more reps. And here it is. Three, two, and last one. Ooh. Now, this is where we've got our reverse grip alternating chest press with glute bridge hold. <laughs> so hips are up. Now remember you have the modification to keep the hips down. Just really depends on how you are feeling because as always, this is your workout. So hips up, hips down, arms are up though either way. And we're gonna alternate that lower, here we go. So taking one arm down and then the other arm comes down. Now if you've got those hips up, back stays flat, squeezing the glute, weight is in the heels. Keep working it, you're almost there. Here we are, three, two, and one. Oh, rest it out. Last time for this one now. Grabbing those weights back into position. We've got three, two, and one. Here we are, down and squeeze. Ooh. Don't forget to exhale as you press up. Keep those hips high, squeeze the glutes. We're almost there. Last one, three, two, and one. Nice, this is where you need your box. If you've got it, incline push-ups with that slow low. Knees or toes or on the ground, always an option. Into position, lower slow, work at your own pace. Here we go. Nice and slow, drive back up. Push through the heels of your hands. Take it down slow. Shake it all. Whew. 
That shake is muscle celebrating right now because they are getting stronger. Oh, so just remember that. <laughs> when those muscles are shaking, they are celebrating. And that even felt like it rhymed. So I am happy about that. Here we are, three, two, and one. <laughs> wow, you know I love a good rhyme. Oh, one more. All right, let's get ready. Taking it back down. Ooh, last set, slow, low push-ups, and we go. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Push up is quick. Fun little reminder. Two exercises after this. Here it is, three, two, one. All right, moving on now to dips on the box. So with this one, back stays flat, keep that bum and back nice and close to your box as you go. And remember, the heavier, the farther your legs. The less weight, legs are bent. So taking it out, two sets going in three, two, and one. Work at your own pace here. And make sure you're getting that full range of motion. So take those elbows, drive them to the wall behind you, bending here, press back up all the way. So tighten those arms up in the back. Feel those triceps activate. Down. Ooh. Here it is. Three. Two, and one. <laughs> I had to walk myself back in if I thought I was gonna get up on that one. Ooh. All right, one more set. Breathing, shoulders rolled down and back before we begin. Just think about that good posture throughout. And we're on, here we go, 45. All the way up, squeeze, push through the heels of your hands on that box. A few more reps, and then we have hit our last exercise for this workout. <sighs> Count it down with me. Three, two, and one. <laughs> oh my, all right. Skull crushers, this is it. We don't need our box. We just need our dumbbells or dumbbell one or two. Rolling it onto the back. And remember with skull crushers, just move that elbow. Going in three, two, and one. So drop it down and up. Down. Exhale as you press up, arms back to straight. Down and press. We're almost there. Here it is, three, two, and one. Woo. Final set. Final 45 seconds of work here. All right, let's get ready. Let's pr press that weight up. We've got three, we've got two, we've got 45 on. Here it is. Down, all the way up. Exhale as you press up, full range of motion. Remember, as you get that full range of motion, tighten up the back of the arm. Take your focus to the back of the arm right here. 
So don't let your mind wander. I know it is tough. I'm right with you. If you're lifting heavy, I'm lifting heavy. We're doing this together. And I know right here, it is getting so tough. But again, I said you were gonna feel so amazing by the end. And here it is. Three, two, one. Oh. When you find out what you are capable of, it is just such a good feeling. And you are strong, you are awesome, and I am so proud of you. That was our three best friends that anyone could have workout. <laughs> Don't you just love that trio? That's a good combo. With that, if you want to give the lower body some love, I have got a thighs finisher that would go mwah with this one. So check out that thighs finisher, just 10 extra minutes. You will be feeling so good from head to toe. And I love you a whole bunch. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being the best workout girl a friend could ask for. That didn't work. <laughs> that, wow. Thanks for being the best. Workout friend a girl could ask for. That's better. I better get out of here before I say anything else. It's just completely, I love you. <laughs>